Good evening and welcome to Weirdo Rama. I am your host, Victor Von Psychotron, and all of us at Weirdo Rama will always strive to bring you the creepy. The strange. And of course, the weird. Ain't we dead? Of course, we're not dead. I thought I was a little off color to be a ghost. Tonight's film is King of the Zombies. We are here at Hero and Villains Fan Fest in Rosemont, Illinois, and we will have an interview with one of the guests, Mr. Eugene Clark, who played the zombie Big Daddy in George Romero's Land of the Dead. It's a fun interview. We're sure you will enjoy it. So, lock all of your doors and windows, turn off all of your lights, sit back, have a cup of tea, and enjoy tonight's film, King of the Zombies. But first, a cartoon and a short film. anything. Not even lightning? Not even lightning. Why, I remember one storm when 10,000 volts of lightning... He thinks your royal braggart is unusually windy today. ...sounded in my ears. Thank you, but the royal braggart oh, is oh, a great wild elephant. But was I afraid? Not old King Cole. I am not afraid of anything. Get off the air. What was that? The, the, the ghost! <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> Neither do we. What sayest we take the wind out of yon wind bag? Let's give him to white. Come on, fellers. <laughs> Bragging, 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 bragging all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take 
take the wind out of this wind bag. Oh, take you on another adventure in the Calico Kingdom. Things promise to be very exciting today, so I imagine you're all anxious to start. I certainly am, but let's just wait a moment to see if someone will pay us a visit first. Say, if somebody's coming, they should just about be here. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at this. It's Reckless Raccoon. Oh, hi there, Doris. <laughs> Hi yourself, Reckless. Oh. Keeping busy? Well, you bet I am, Doris. I'm always busy. But I want to come and make sure you are watching today. You bet your boots I am, Reckless. Good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> well, I will be going. I'll see you a little later, Doris. All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Well, boys and girls, I think it's about time for us to get going, too. Are you all ready? All right. Let's go, shall we? Say, it's a picture of King Calico's throne room in the palace. Now, let's look hard. Why, boys and girls, do you see what I see? Oh, well, gosh, oh, golly. Oh, I suppose I better do my homework before the cake gets back. For you skip me alive. Oh, 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 what are you going to study? 
How about history lesson, Pippi? Now, you go out and beat it, see? You go on now. Oh, no, come on, let me help you. I like history. Well, okay. Now, here's what I have to read for today. <laughs> it's all about the reign of King Calico the First. Oh, King Calico the First? Well, who was he? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, Clippy, you certainly do need to study some history, all right. Why, he was a great, 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 great granddaddy of our King Calico. Who's King Calico the last, of course? Oh, yeah, I see. Well, I guess that must have, I guess it must have been a little before my time. Well, that's putting it mildly. <laughs> oh, look at what it says here. Uh, when King Calico the First died, his court magician, old Kimbaro, disappeared and has never been seen since to this, to this very, very day. Oh, well, there's no use arguing. The cheese is gone all right. Oh, yeah. Somebody must have taken it while we were capturing a clip in the donkey. Oh, my, yes. But how in the world do we know whether it was taken by the, by the very same person who also took the king's glasses and our soup to eat? We don't, KP. That's just it. We don't. Oh, see, I've got an idea, King. What is it? Well, why don't you and I look for the man with the glasses and the soup to while KP searches for the missing cheese? Oh, that's a very good idea, my pet, yes. Then we won't have another wild goose chase. Oh, my gracious, wild goose chase. Oh, I'm in for that. Yes, sirree. Let's go. I can roast wild goose so that it melts in your mouth. Hoo, hoo, hoo. No, 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 KP. A mere figure of speech, that's all. Just a mere figure of speech. Here, KP. You take the rope and the net with you and capture the fellow with the cheese. And the king and I will take the club and the sword and capture the fellow with the glasses and the tree. Yes, that's right. And if they turn out to be one and the same... Then we haven't wasted any time, have we? Oh, yeah. oh, yes, I see. Oh, that is a very good idea. Oh, oh, oh. But how in the world do I look for a fellow with a cheese? Why, you just follow a trail of cheese crumbs, KP. <laughs> Simple as ABC. My pet and I will follow heavy tracks like a man would make who was carrying a heavy soup tureen. Oh, yes, I see. All right, all right. Very well. Goodbye, Your Majesty. And good luck. Goodbye. I will see you later. My stars and comets, my comets and stars. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, I am so very, very tired. I have switched and searched all over the forest. And not one single crumb of cheese have I found. Hoo, hoo. I believe I will just sit down under this very, very huge and great big tree and rest for a while. Oh, my, I am so tired. So very, very tired. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, my gracious, what was that? Heaven to Patsy. I do believe some crumbs of cheese have hit me right on the nose. Let me see. Oh, no, no, it is only sawdust. Oh, my, I am so tired. So very, very... Oh, my gracious sakes, some more sawdust just hit me on the nose. Let me see that. Oh, no, it is not sawdust. Oh, oh it is only cheese. That is... Oh, cheese? Oh, my gracious, now what would sawdust and cheese crumbs be doing falling out of this tree? <laughs> oh, say, <laughs> that's pretty good cheese, all right. Certainly glad I found it. <laughs> One thing my tree house doesn't have is a pantry. Boy, I sure get hungry. Whitland always makes me mighty hungry, yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, I'm just a little whittler, whittling all day long. And as the stick grows littler, I sing a happy song. Oh, snick, snack, snick, I whittle all day. Snickety, snuckety, snickety, I'm bright and gay. Snick, snack, snick, I know every trick while I'm whittling on a little wooden stick, stick, stick. While I'm whittling on a little wooden stick. <laughs> oh, my gracious, who's that up there in the top of that tree? Who, oh, what? Who's that? Why, well, it sounded like K.P. Wiggle, the royal cook. Hello, is that you, K.P.? Oh, it is I, K.P. Wiggle, royal cook of the Calico Kingdom. 
Who is that up there? Oh, well, it's me, Waldo Mouse, royal carpenter of the Calico Kingdom. Oh, I've got a tree house up here. Oh, my gracious, I want to come up and talk to you. Well, uh, can you climb a tree? Oh, no, but I have a rope. Here, catch it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, all right, KP. Hold on now and I'll pull you up. Oh, my gracious. Hold tightly, please. I am, I am doing just fine. Hold it, hold it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there you are. Oh, my gracious, thank you very, very much, Waldo. Now then, hoo, 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 that was quite a climb. What I wish to know is, what are you doing with the royal calico cheese? Oh, uh, yeah, the royal calico. Well, I, uh, I found it in a picnic hamper in the woods, and, and I was hungry, so I just, uh, <laughs> I borrowed it for a while, that's all. Oh, yes, I see. But you should not have done that, no, 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 because it was the only food the king had along on his searching party. Oh, gee, Whiskers, I'm awful sorry. Oh, what's the king searching for? Oh, my gracious, for somebody who took his spectacles and the royal silver soup tureen right out of the palace. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, boy, that's pretty serious. Oh, yes, you said it. You did not see anyone prowling in the forest, did you, Waldo? Well, uh, come to think of it, yeah, I did see somebody uh, go by just a little while ago. Oh, I thought it was just one of the palace people going down to the river for a swim, so I didn't pay any attention. Oh, my gracious sake, but it might have been the fellow the king is looking for. Oh, yeah, I believe you're right, KP. Well, maybe we can capture him and be heroes. Come on, let's go. Mm. Now, there, king. The trail leads us right up to the river, but my gracious sake alive, where do we go from here? Why, across the river, of course, Moppy. No, yes, that's easier said than done. We haven't got a boat or water wings or anything like that. Nonsense, Moppy, my boy. Don't need such contraptions at all. No, sir. We'll just jump nimbly from stone to stone. Oh, yeah? Nimbly, huh? That's right, nimbly. Well, okay, if you think we can do it, King. Yes, oh, don't worry. You go first, Moppy. That's it. Steady now, steady. No. Gee, these stones are mighty slippery, King. You better be mighty careful. No, don't worry about me, my boy. Oh, my gracious sake. Oh, my. This is hard work without my glasses. Oh, no, don't lose your balance, King. No, help. Save us. Somebody's thrown a net over here. Yeah, Nat, yeah, they must think we're a couple of fish. Help! Help! Oh, my gracious, goody, goody, goody. I think we have caught him, Waldo. Yeah, a pull harder, KB. Here he comes. No. No, my gracious, what clumsy mumsies we are. Look, it is the king. Yeah, and Moppy, too. No. No. Let me get the seaweed out of my face here. Oh, drip, drat, it's K.P. Wiggle and Waldo. No, we. Looks like we got in our, caught in our own net, King. Yes, yeah, so we did, Mophead. Drip, drat. So we did. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, how about that, boys and girls? Things certainly do get mixed up in the Calico Kingdom. But right now, I think we'd better be on the watch for someone to come and say goodbye to us. Well, look who's here as if by magic, Waldo Mouse. <laughs> Hello, Doris. <laughs> say, Waldo, how in the world are things going to turn out anyway? Oh, golly, Doris, I wish I knew. Mm. I guess you'll just have to watch our next adventure to find out. Well, you can just bet your boots I will watch. Good. Well, I have to dash back now, Doris, so I'll just say goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye, boys and girls. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>
Any luck, Mac? Nah, I can't even scare off a news broadcast. Where do you think we are? Search me. We lost a few hours ago. Probably somewhere between Cuba and Puerto Rico. Is it that bad? It ain't good. Uh-oh. I knowed I wasn't cut out to be no blackbird. If you had those weather gadgets you all set up, we wouldn't have gotten into this mess. Now, if that new Navy base gets a weather bureau now, it'll be a miracle. Well, Mr. Bill, is this the spot where Admiral Wainwright's plane turned up missing last week? Yeah. Uh-oh. Look out, Admiral. Here we come. Try to contact him again, Mac. Hello? McCarthy calling. Plane C-108 calling. Why don't somebody answer? We're lost, do you hear? Lost. Not a murmur. How's the gas holding out? That's something else again. Well, there are plenty of small islands down here. Better go down and find a spot for a landing. That's what I'll... Wait a minute. There's something coming in. That's a new lingo to me. I don't understand it. Think we're near a radio station? Well, the way it's coming in, we must be right over that transmitter. Well, that's a break. Well, I'm going down to take a look. Hold on, boys. There's a clearing ahead. I think I can make it. Think? Did you say think? About. What do you mean, have me in a hole? Ain't we dead? Of course we're not dead. I thought I was a little off color to be a ghost. Oh, there's no such thing as ghosts, Jeff. Me? Eh? Well, what's that then? That's no ghost. Come on. I can't. My foot done took the root. Hey. What are you trying to do? Scare us to death? Hey, you're hurt. I'm all right. Just a crack on the noggin. Where are we? Search me. It looks like somebody's marble orchard. Graveyard. That's a fine spot for a crack up. Well, let's look around. Somebody must live around here. Come on. Quiet, will you? What you trying to do? Wake up the dead? Matter to hear something? Uh, no, sir. Just my heart trying to jump out of my chest. That's drums. Drums? That's my cue for me to start parading out of here. looking place. Sure dark. Suppose anybody lives in there? In that hainted house? If they do, they sleep on slabs. Well, let's find out. Not me. You're going in there. I ain't going in that mausoleum. I'm going to stay right here until I change my mind. Oh, wait a minute. I done changed my mind.
Ring the bell, Jeff. Oh, Mr. Bill, you the one who wants to go in there. You ring the bell. Sound like an ice cream man. Welcome to my humble home. Thank you. We were just... I know. Your plane crashed in the jungle. Oh, yes. How did you know? Very little happens on this island that I do not know about. Mama! We have guests from the library. Half these gentlemen's bags brought in. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. May I introduce myself? I'm Dr. Mikhail Sangre, late of Vienna. Get out of here. Oh, don't be silly, Jeff. Go on. Oh, that man ain't no doctor. There's something wrong here. Well, that's Slim Gallery. You must forgive us, please, if we seem unprepared. Visitors are rare in this house. I'm afraid we're the ones to apologize, Doctor, for walking in on you like this. Not at all. It's a pleasure, I can assure you. Well, I'm Bill Summers. This is Mr. McCarthy. Well, how are you, Doc? My valet, Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson Jackson is my name. You see, I was named after my grandpappy. He was the president of the Knights of the Pink Goddess. Ah, you have been hurt. Ah, it's nothing. Just a crack on the head. Nothing, you say. The slightest injury on this island often proves fatal. What do you mean? The climate, and yet... Yet what? They say that evil spirits lurk here, waiting to prey on the injured. Ha! That's a lot of bunk. Maybe. How about a spot of brandy to warm me up? Fine. Mamba! Run, friend. My servant intrigues you. Is that one of the spirits that you was talking about? Mamba, no. It's true he reflects the mood of this house, but he's not as sinister as he looks. Gentlemen, the finest brandy in all Europe. I brought it here myself. To your arrival. A most fortunate accident for me. I'm afraid our arrival was no accident. You mean to say you came here purposely? No, not in the sense you mean. You see, we were on our way to the Bahamas when the storm blew us off our course. We heard your broadcast, so here we are. Broadcast? Mm -hmm. You must be mistaken. There was no broadcast from this island. Your ears must have played you tricks. There is no radio within miles of here. However, where boats do stop here fairly often. How often? Well, the next one is due in about two weeks' time. However, I hope you will be my guest in the meantime. Oh, afraid we'll have to, Doctor. Thank you. Well, that's settled then. Uh, let me show you to your rooms. just leave him downstairs in the library? Oh, he wanted to make sure that your room was warm and comfortable before you got here. He sure gets around fast, don't he? Uh, Mr. Summers, uh, this is your room. Mr. McCarthy's. Your quarters are joined. Excuse me, Mr. Doctor, but didn't you forget something? I think not. No? No. Uh, what about me? You will be taken care of. That's what I'm afraid of. In the servants' quarters. Mumble will show you the way. Mumble? That goblin? Do I have to go with him alone? 
He won't hurt you if he likes you. And if he don't? Oh, Mr. Bill, does I have to? Can I stay up here with you? No. You understand. I don't wish to be harsh, but it might set a bad example for the other servants. Mm, certainly. It'll be all right, Jeff. For who? Mamba. Dieser Kaffer nach unten. <laughs> you ain't by any chance a member of the Mystic Knight of the Pink Goddess, is you? <laughs> no? Harlem never was like this. Dinner at 8 o'clock. Make yourselves at home. And I'll get something for your head, Mr. McCarthy. Thank you, Doctor. What do you think? I don't know what to think. Are you sure we were flying over this island when we picked up that broadcast? I'd swear to went on a stack of Bibles. And you notice the lingo he was talking to that banshee? You mean it was the same? Nothing else but. It was the same blather we heard on the radio, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same voice. Oh, uh, pardon me. I should have knocked. Here you are, Mr. McCarthy. Your head will be as good as new in no time. Phew! If it was in me, I sure would be pale now. Samantha. Well, I do declare. Hello there, bright eyes. Where did you come from? Alabama. Alabama. Ain't that nice? After gallivanting around with a hatchet face, you is a pleasant surprise. Is you my little social? Is I? Well, if I ain't, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> hey, who is that, Methuselah? Kahama. I know a museum that would give a fortune just to have her on the glass. What's a museum? That's where they keep dead things. Oh, like here. Hmm? What's cooking? That's brew. Brew? Home brew at this day and age? Why, don't you people know that prohibition has been repealed? Taste. I don't care if I do. How's it taste? I don't know, but it ain't kosher. What's it for? It's a magic potion for scaring away the evil spirits. Evil spirits? Good gracious of me. Well, it is evil spirits around here. Why, sure. The place is crawling with them. And that ain't all. What, there's Mo? Mo? You ain't heard nothing. Just wait till you see the zombies. Zombies? What's them? Dead folks. What walks around? They do. Here? Especially here. Why here especially? Because this is where they grows the best. They's all over this place. And all you have to do is clap your hands and they comes a-running. Who is they? Who is they? Zombies. Watch out! What kept you so long? Mr. Bill! Mr. Bill! What's the matter, Jack? I seen them. I seen them. You saw what? They're all over the place. They're everywhere. <laughs> What's everywhere? Hands, big black ones with frozen faces, with eyes that looks at you and they don't see nothing. What's he talking about? Oh, zombies! Mr. Bill, let's get out of here. Why, this place is a walking cemetery. Wait a minute, Jeff. What's this all about? What's a zombie? Well, a zombie, there's, um, Mr. Bill, there's... The living dead. living dead. That's it. That's what it is. Dead folks was too lazy to lay down. Your servant seems to have learned a lot in the short time he has been here. Nothing I ain't willing to unlearn just as quick. <laughs> I'm afraid Jeff's been saying things. Ain't it the truth? Where did you see these uh, zombies? Uh, Mr. Bill, I saw them down into the kitchen. They walked in there just like they owned the place. <laughs> Undoubtedly some of my servants. No, sir. Not them babies. Why, they is fugitives from the undertakers. If it is true what he says, it might be amusing to see these creatures for ourselves. 
In the kitchen, you said? Yes, sir. That's the way I've seen them. Shall we investigate? Well, sounds a little crazy. Sorry for me, I guess. How about you, Mac? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Superstition plays a very important part in the life of these West Indian natives. Uh, puss. Uh, this is our kitchen. Crude and rather antiquated, but adequate for our simple needs. Samantha. Yes, Master? Have you seen any zombies here? No, Master. Have you, Tahama? Tahama cooks for the living, not the dead. You see? You better get yourself a pair of glasses, Jeff. Oh, Mr. Bill, I don't need no glasses. I saw them with my own eyes. Samantha, you were standing right beside of me when them two perishables walked in. The only perishable thing around here is you, big boy. You've been dreaming. Dreaming? I never dreamt a dream like that in my wildest nightmare. Mr. Bill, they was the real McCoy. He tasted my brew. Made him drunk. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bill, don't pay no attention to her. I wasn't drunk. You got to believe me. <laughs> you better take it easy, Jeff, and lay off that brew. Now that we have convinced ourselves there were no zombies here, uh, let's retire to the library. That's for me. No. You stay here. Look out for more zombies. Woman, you is a prevaricator. Don't you prevaricate me. You didn't see no zombies. You just think you did. Think? I don't think that good. I seen them and you did too. You told me that all I had to do was to clap. Stop him! Don't do that. I thought so. Mister, that's something that ain't never no good for nobody to do no time. Much less going around blabbing off your big mouth about. You mean that, that Mr. Sanders don't like for nobody to know that he got zombies around that's here? That's right. How come? What'd he do, grow them? No, but he sure cultivates them. What for? That's his own business. And if you're smart, you'll keep your big nose out of it. Is you telling me? Alice, you're down early, my dear. Permit me. My wife, Madame Sangley. Mr. Summers, Mr. McCarthy, our guests. How do you do, Madame Sangley? Howdy. My wife isn't quite uh, herself. She suffers from a strange malady which I'm trying to cure. Here is a peculiar case in contrast to that of the zombies, which your servant claims to have seen, where supposedly they are dead, yet retain a certain amount of animation. She lives, yet walks in the land of those beyond. Give us if we intrude it. I didn't know you preferred drinking alone. I was a little nervous. I thought it might make me feel better. Of course. Permit me. Mr. Summers. Uh, Mr. McCarthy. Miss Barbara Winslow, my niece. By marriage. The doctor... I mean, my uncle has told me of your unfortunate accident. How long do you suppose it will take you to repair the plane and leave? Barbara. How can you talk of leaving to our guests when they have only just arrived? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. Uh, you see, my niece doesn't like this little island. She can only think of it in terms of departure. Any place that don't set well with me, miss, I ups and leaves. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. None may leave this island if he so chooses. How's that? Oh, uh, of course, I'm only speaking about myself and my family. You see, uh, we are Austrian refugees, had to flee without passports. Uh, we had no choice. But we're different, huh? <laughs> Naturally. You wouldn't be on this island if it hadn't been for your crash. Isn't that so, Mr. Summers? Well, that's about the size of it. You know, I'm beginning to think these islands are bad luck for planes. Oh, I don't understand. About a week ago, one of our Navy planes disappeared in the same region. Oh, anyone of importance? Yeah. Admiral Wainwright, 
One of our ranking admirals. Mm-hmm. He was on his way to Panama. Mission of some sort for the government. How unfortunate. Well, of course, uh, I will inform the natives first thing in the morning. And if they can learn of your admiral, I will uh, certainly let you know. Thank you, Doctor. Excuse me. I see you take an interest in my collection. Yeah, they are kind of curious. <laughs> they constitute my hobby, gathered from all over the world. Relics, symbols of black magic, lycanthropy, voodoo. Is that so? Why so? You are Irish, are you not? Sure, anybody can see that. Well, that should be of special interest to you. Why me? Because it comes from your country. The ceremonial mask worn by the ancient Druid High Priests during the rites of transmigration. Transmigration? Yes, it means the transfer of the uh, soul of the dead to the body of the living. Ain't that kind of tough on the living? <laughs> Perhaps so. But I know of many who would benefit by a new soul. Lots of people don't believe in that junk anymore, Doc. Well, I hear that in Ireland a good many do. I don't know about that. Dina is served. Very interesting, Mr. McCarthy, isn't it? Very. The inconvenience of the material body always demanding to be fed. Come, my dear. The idea of me doing skullduggery in the kitchen. Why, that ain't no business for a man who used to resorting with big shots. Who are you trying to fool? Well, the only big shot around these here parts is Dr. Sanger. And I sure know you ain't no pal of his'n. <laughs> I don't intend to be. Why, that Dr. Sangre is a little shot compared with Mr. Bill. Who say? I said, and you know why? Did you hear me inquire? It's a secret. But I'll tell you if you promise not to tell a living soul. Oh, I won't. Leastwise, not no living soul. Leastwise? Why, woman, is you keeping company with a zombie? Does I look like a widow? What's the secret about Mr. Bill? <laughs> Well, he's on a little special business for the government. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're going to send him all the way to the Bahamas. So that's that. Tehama. Knock up and Say, what's up? What's up? It's almost 12 o'clock. The witching hour. Witching hour? What do that mean? It means you better be in bed or the Hanks will get you. Hanks? Hanks? It's their feeding time. And they like stock meat. Dog meat? You don't have to play no second chord for me to find out who that mean. Where's that bed? You stay here. Oh, mister, I got a date with a dream. You stay here. Oh, couldn't we flip a coin or something to see if I stay or else? Pay no attention to anything you see or hear. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. Nighty night, sugar pie. Remember. I cannot forget to remember. Don't worry, mister. I couldn't get out of here if I wanted to. Boy, I was petrified. Where there's light, there's hope. Boy, I need all the hopes that I can dig up tonight. I sure wish I'd learned to burn a candle on both ends. If I just had me a couple of Lenox Avenue street lights, I could really sleep. Which an hour? Feeding time for the hands, and I'm caught in the kitchen. They've been trying to get me. Again? Is your servant always like that, Mr. Summers? This ain't no laughing matter, Dr. Sandridge. 
You fooled me once before, but you can't do it this time because I've seen them with my own eyes. He seems to be troubled with hallucinations. No, sir. Zombies, that's what I'm troubled with. You know what, Mr. Bill? Why, they tried to have me for dinner. <laughs> Nonsense. Zombies don't eat meat. That ain't the way I heard it. Ah, oh, the crack-up must have given him a concussion. You'll be all right in the morning, Jeff, as soon as you have a good night's rest. You're right about me needing rest, but I can't get it sleeping down there in that mold. How well, do you stay up here with us? Mr. Bill, them is the joyfulest words that I ever heard. Oh, we have so much room in this house, there's no need for him to sleep here. I'll give him an opiate. You ain't giving me nothing. But this is so irregular. Let him stay here, Doc. I know how he feels, and I don't blame him a bit. Oh, forgive me. I forgot. After all, he is your servant. Good night, Jim. Good night, Doc. Whew, good gracious of me. <laughs> this joint gives me the willies. I second the motion. Well, I'm not crazy about it either, but there's nothing we can do about it. That's what you think. Nobody leaves this island, huh? Well, I'm getting off it if I have to swim. And me right behind you. You know that Dr. Sanders has got the hex on us. Now you're both jumping at your own shadows. Shadows? I don't throw them kind of shadows that I saw down in that kitchen. Why, Mr. Bill, this place is zombified, but good. Ah, forget it, Jeff. There may be something to that zombie gag, Bill. I've heard of him. Ah, go on. When a man's dead, he's dead. Well, suppose he's dead and don't know it. Forget it, will you, Jeff? I'm going to bed. Where am I going to sleep? I'll sleep there on the couch. Right over here? Hey. What's that? That's a generator as sure as there's shamrocks in Ireland. Maybe it's for the electric lights. Have you seen electric lights around here? Maybe they ain't screwed them in yet. There's only one reason for a generator to be on this island. Radio. I don't get it. Why would he lie about the radio when... That's one of the things that got me mixed up. But let me tell you this. If we live through the night and that radio on the plane is okay, I'm going to camp on it tomorrow till I scare up a gunboat. And now it's a lady ghost. She come right through that wall. Now look, Jeff, the first couple of times was funny, but now you're going too far. Oh, no, I ain't, Mr. Bill. She walked right through that wall. Oh, it's your imagination. Go on back to bed. Imagination? Why, Mr. Bill, my imagination ain't that strong. Why, imagination couldn't drop this, could it? Look at that. What is it? It's an earring. Where did you say she went? She walked right through that wall, just like it wasn't there. Right here, Mr. Bill. I'll show it to you, too. She walked right through this wall here, and don't ask me how she done it. I saw it as a rock. That yeah, gets me. Any idea who she was? I didn't ask the lady her name. I was doing pretty good just looking. What do you say, Bill? You still think he's crazy? Well, I'll tell you better in the morning. Now, next time you see anything like that, hang on to it. If I do, it's got to catch up with me first. Even the doorknobs are haunted around this joint. Well, I'm going to find out what this is all about right now. Oh, Mr. Bill, with all these hands around here, does we have to go looking for them? Well, you can stay here, Jeff. No, sir. Wherever thou goes, I go. I hope it ain't too far. Well, keep your eyes open. Let's have a look downstairs. Tomb. 
the tomb. You don't mean three ways. Uh, Mr. Bill, I think two is better. Look, Jeff, where did you say you saw those things? Oh, Mr. Bill, you ain't going down in that zombie nest. Where is it? Oh, back in the kitchen? That's for me. All right, I'll look around up here. Okay, come on, Jeff. Who, me? No, sir. Oh, Mr. Mac, I ain't got no business down there. Pipe down. You gotta show me the way. Does I ask to? Can I draw you a map or something? Oh, go ahead, Jeff. You're wasting your time. Oh, my goodness. Right out of the skeleton to the frying pan. I couldn't win tonight if I had crooked back. Come Sneak up on people like that? Not always. Tonight it seems to be the custom. I thought I'd return your call. Do you mind? My call? It's rather late for research, isn't it? There were some things I had to know. So I noticed. When you want to know a thing, you really go after it, don't you? Would you mind, please, telling me what you're driving at? Not at all. This prowling act of yours. What's the idea? Oh, it's my aunt. I'm so worried about her. She is hypnotized, isn't she? I don't know. I think so. I... You don't think I did it, do you? Well, I, I'm in no position to accuse anybody of anything. Look, Mr. Summers, I've got to get my aunt off this island. She's been this way ever since she came here. I'm afraid if we don't do something soon, something dreadful is going to happen to all of us. Well, I've got to trust somebody around here. That's a cinch. But in order to help you, you've got to help us. Oh, I'll do anything. Anything I can. Well, we think Dr. Sangre has a radio transmitter concealed on this island. I've thought that for a long while. I don't know where he keeps it, but there must be one because he's always getting messages from somewhere. Do hmm. you think you could find it? I'll try. Swell. we better get back to our rooms. Is, is there anything else? Not I'll see you in the morning. Where'd those zombies come from? They didn't. They sprouted. Just like mushrooms. With a description like that, they ought to be very easy to find. That's just what I'm afraid of. Come on, let's have a look around. Mm -mm, not me. I'm gonna stay right here. Tropic show sure gives a man a color. <laughs> Don't do that, Mr. Mack. You know my heart can't stand. <laughs> you know one thing, Mr. Mack, you see? Wow! Mr. Mack! Mr. Mack! Mac? 
Yeah, looks like I pulled another Brannigan. That's not so bad, it's just a bump. Yeah, two cracks on the bean in one night. How am I doing? I heard someone cry out. It was me, and I wasn't dreaming. Oh, yes, we thought we heard something, Doctor. We came down here to investigate. So? Yeah, I got tangled up with one of your rape men and got the worst of the argument. Too bad, I should have warned you. Some of my servants act as guards at night. You sure it wasn't a zombie? Ridiculous. Well, he knows it wasn't a zombie, Doctor. It was our fault. We should have taken your advice and stayed where we belonged. You're a sensible man, Mr. Summers. Oh, let's go back to bed, fellas. I'm sorry. This won't happen again. Hurry, hurry, step right this way, folks, for the most extravagant array of refreshment goodies ever assembled under one roof. Enjoy breathtaking, taste-tempting candies of finest quality. Enjoy popcorn exploded into tender, delicious, crispy bites of crunchy goodness. Enjoy the tops in cool, refreshing soft drinks. If you want to enjoy some refreshments, this is your opportunity. There will now be a short intermission. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The management of this drive-in theater is happy to announce you can enjoy your favorite form of movie entertainment regardless of rain. No longer will it be necessary to let rain spoil your fun. Now you can keep your windshield clear and dry with a drizzle guard. Simply attach it to your windshield, and in a jiffy you're enjoying the movie without constantly running your windshield wipers. A drizzle guard will save you gasoline and wear and tear on your battery. After the show is over, all you do is take off your drizzle guard, roll it up, and it's ready to be used again, just like an umbrella. So next time it rains, don't sizzle in a drizzle. Get yourself a drizzle guard and enjoy the show. Drizzle guards are on sale now at the concession site. Oh. Show starts in four minutes. I'm here with Eugene Clark, Big Daddy, former Toronto Argonaut, stand-up comic, singer, Jack of all trades. Sir, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? What's your name, man? I am Victor Von Psychotron. Victor Von Psychotron. Yes. How are you doing, bro? I am doing very well, sir. And how's the show been for you? The show's been great, man. And tell us about this new series you have coming up on uh, Crack. Well, it's, it's, it started running November of uh, 2015. It's called The Art of More. We, let's talk to the people. It's called The Art of More. It's on Crackle. It's starring Dennis Quaid, uh, Sarah Bosworth, and Christian Cook. Um, we shot 10 episodes. I believe I'm in nine. I just read online that they're picked up for um, another season. Oh, season congratulations. Two. Well, I hope I'm picked up with them. I don't know. Uh, if I'm picked up with it, uh, please let me know so I can, <laughs> uh, you know, lose a few pounds, get back in shape. But um, um, congratulations, by the way. So that's on Crackle. That's Sony Pictures' new um, stream, online streaming show. Wonderful. Yes. So how long... Oh, network, not a show. Network. It's a network. Yes, that's right. Be careful. So in Land of the Dead, how long were you in the makeup chair? It took three hours on and three hours off. Oh, wonderful. And how much of your personality did George Romero let you bring to Big Daddy? Well, George, uh, George allows you to be creative. So you know right away if he likes it or not. So, um, in terms of how much of, my, of me, um, if he liked it, it was cool. Um, there was a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on because in my mind, um, there was genocide was happening. Certainly. So George said that although I was dead, I was coming back to life, and I was remembering what it was like to be alive, and I was remembering my past life. That's why when I took the rifle off the the cyclist and looked at it and put it on my shoulder and then pat my chest I remembered I used to be a soldier yes and that's when I went out because you know I didn't eat anybody in that movie that, that is true only Dennis Hopper's character I blew up because he was messing with me mm -hmm. and my peoples and I didn't go after him so be careful that's right right yeah, that's true so and tell us about your singing you have 
I have three. I have three CDs on, CDs. on iTunes. Um, two are gospel CDs. One is called um, Y Jam. One is called As Long as I Give. No, one is called Y Jam. The other one's called How Great Thou Art. This, one's contemporary. One's traditional. And then there's a kind of a R&B jazz called As Long as I Give. And um, check it out. Check it out. Do you have a preferred style that you like? Do you prefer the gospel or the R&B? Man, I just like singing. I like singing. Um, I think each. East genre. I mean, I love rock and roll. I just can't sing it. I love country. I, I think I, I have a song that's kind of a country song. Um, I just like singing, you know. And if people are touched, if if they're moved in some way, then that's great. If they get up and dance and boogie, I, I like to take people on a journey. Not always successful, but I like it because when I am an audience member or a listener, I like to go on a journey. Oh, certainly. Yes. Well, and speaking of journeys, you also do personal training. I'm a personal trainer, yes. Um, I can get you in shape. Go to my website, uh, www.eugeneaclark.com. You, you, you need to get in shape. We, I can hook you up. I used to be a professional football player. Yes. I played... Uh, oh, I'm going to give you a little fact that most people don't know. Mark Harmon from NCIS yes. was my quarterback at UCLA. <laughs> we ran the wishbone. I was a pulling guard. Mark Harmon was my quarterback. And he was a very good quarterback. Oh, I, that very I very seldom talk about that, but that was oh. it, yeah. Well, well, thank you for that, sir, and thank You're you so welcome. much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you, sir. Same here. Thank you. You know, this dump don't look half bad in the daylight. Yeah, it almost makes last night seem like it didn't happen. Don't kid yourself. That airing happened. You know, I'm beginning to believe this thing was dropped on purpose. Good morning. Good morning. Howdy. I think you dropped this last night. That? Oh, no, that belongs to my aunt. I'm so glad I was able to find you alone. There's something I've got to tell you. Hmm? What is it? It's about last night. There's a... Good morning. Having an interesting conversation, my dear? Uh, Miss Winslow was just telling us about your island. That's right. Oh, how thoughtful of her. Did you sleep well last night? <laughs> well, as well as we could with the storm and all. Good. I took the liberty of having some breakfast sent to your room. I hope you didn't mind. Not at all. It was an unexpected treat. You seem to admire my wife's earrings. Oh, I was just, uh... My wedding present to her. Mm, very unique. Quite so. I dare say there's not another pair like them in the world. Really? They were among the few possessions which we were allowed to take out of the old country. You don't say. Well, while you are here, I want you to feel perfectly at ease and do as you like. What are your plans for today? Well, I'm going down and take a look at the plane. Uh, yes, we're anxious to see what damage was done by the crash last night. I see. Would you care to join us, Miss Winslow? Oh, I would love to. No, no. That would be quite impossible. My niece assists me as my secretary. We have a lot of work to do, my dear. Some other time, perhaps. Oh, certainly. Shall we go, Mac? I'm all for it. Enjoy yourselves. But don't forget luncheon at noon. Thanks, Doctor. Bill, let's have a look at that earring. They're the same, all right. The only pair like them in the world, huh? I don't get it. Neither do I. Barbara didn't drop it. Madame Sangre couldn't have, apparently. Who did? This is the most cockeyed racket I ever bumped into. Well, I'm for getting out of it as quick as possible. Let's get that radio started. Bill, look there. What about it? Ain't that a fresh grave? So what? You're in a cemetery where it's customary to bury people in fresh graves. Yeah, but that's been dug since the storm last night. Listen, are you getting those zombies on your mind, too? You and Jeff make a great pair. You still don't get it. Take a look at that headstone. That guy was buried over a week ago, and somebody must have dug him up. Come on. Boy, will I be glad to get away from this joint. Well, it could have been worse. Hey, Mac, come here. What's the matter? Is it busted? How do you like that? Uh, somebody's dismantled it. Dismantled it? I'll say they have. What next on this devil's island? Mac, we're in a spot. I don't know why, but somebody's trying to hold us here. Trying to hold us, is it? That Dr. Sangre and his droids and his zombies? 
He better not try to pull any of his black magic on me. Ah, oh, calm down, Mac. Raving isn't going to get us anywhere. I'm going to find that, Doc. Are you crazy? Do anything now to make him suspicious? No telling what he might do. Take it easy until we find out what he's up to. Well, maybe you're right. But there's one thing I can do, and I'm going to do it right now. I said take it easy. All I'm going to do is try and find that generator we heard humming last night. Hey, that's an idea. The old man's got a radio hidden away someplace. We could sure use it. Let's go. You better let me handle this. Like you said, we don't want to make anybody suspicious. And with two of us snooping around, it mightn't look so hot. Okay, I'll go back to the house and try to get Barbara away from Doc long enough to find out what she was trying to tell us. Think you can handle it alone? A cinch. It's right up my alley. My old man used to be a cop. Tahama. Yes, Master. How much longer? Soon, Master, soon. Voodoo magic works slow, but it is sure. The Admiral has fainted. Your magic is no good. It puts him to sleep. I am Mamalai, high voodoo priestess. I send him in trance, so he talk. Too slow. He has valuable information, which we must have at once. The three men upstairs may be in the Secret Service. You must make him talk to Hama. Dr. Sangre ruft X402. Dr. Sangre ruft X402. Have another piece of pie, honey lamb? Already had two. You already had six, but does you want another one? Well, if you insist. Boy, you're the most pious man I ever did see. Uh, ain't it the truth? I bet you none of them gals in Harlem never baked you no pie like that. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you ain't so smart. I had me a bow once, and it wasn't no common old valet like you neither. Is that so? He was an ex-porter. Exporter. That's right. Now, that's fine. What did he handle? Bags. On the Pullman train. What become of him? He was killed by a revolving crane. A revolving crane? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all sure have some fierce birds around this country. Do you miss him much? Not much. I sees him every now and then. Who's that? Mm -hmm. He's Lazarus. That zombie you met last night. Oh, Lazarus, that boy? Hmm? Jeff. Oh, it's you, Mr. Bill. You sure give me a turn. Have you seen Mac? He's been missing since early this morning. No, sir, I ain't seen him. You don't think nothing happened to him? I don't know what to think. Don't mind me, Mr. Bill. I'm on your side. You think we better go look for him? All right. Before we go, run upstairs and get my gun in the bag, will you? Would you go shoot somebody? No, don't ask any questions. Meet me in the library. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Doctor, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> no, I ain't either. This is Mr. Bill's room. What you doing going through his bag? Jeff, I was looking for you. Looking for me? In there? I've got something to show you. You got something to show me? That's right. I know, Mr. Doctor, but I got business elsewhere. Nonsense. This is far more important. Oh, not to me, Mr. Doctor. What is the matter? Shh. Oh, Doctor. Watch. That's where 
where that lady went. What lady? The ghost lady. The ghost lady? Uh, yes, she went right through there. Come. Now, wait a minute, Doc. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Sandler. This. Where is you taking me? My husband. Where is we going? Jeff, get a move on. We got you again. What are you doing in here? Where's Jeff? I wouldn't know, sir. Gun. You know about this, you devil. Give me that gun. I have no gun, sir. Don't lie to me. Somebody has. Where's Jeff? Where is he? And Mac, what's happened to him? I wouldn't know, sir. You're gonna tell me or I'll... I said I wouldn't know, sir. You wouldn't spill it if you didn't know. I'm gonna find him if I have to search every inch of this island. Yes, sir. Look at this watch. See it move. Watch it. You have seen nothing. You know nothing. Repeat after me. I have seen nothing. I know nothing. I have seen nothing. I know nothing. I don't even know my name. I don't even know my name. I am dead. Um, I is. Repeat. I am dead. I am dead. I am dead. I have returned to the land of the living. I am a zombie. 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 Get over there where you belong. Yes, sir. Move over, boys. I'm one of the gang now. Mac! Jeff! remember. Oh, you've got to get over this. You must speak to me. You must. No. So you're mixed up in this mess, too. Oh, no, I was only trying to... I know what you were trying to do. I thought Dr. Sangre was responsible for that. Now I see it's you. No, I'm only trying to undo what already has been done. By hypnotizing her still further? But it's the only way. You must believe me. I wouldn't believe you or anybody else in this madhouse. I suppose next, you and your vultures will be after me. Next? Don't pretend that you don't know what happened to Jeff and Mac. I know. I... Look. Mac. He's sick. Get some brandy.
Mac, tell me what's the matter. What happened? Where have you been? It doesn't do any good. Well, I hope you're satisfied. No, I didn't. I saw your friend enter from the jungle. Is anything the matter? What do you think? Well, let's have a look. Hmm. I was afraid of that. He has contracted a very rare and dangerous jungle fever. Is that so? It paralyzes the motor region of his brain. He must have medical attention at once. But you're a doctor. See what you can do about it. I'm sorry it's beyond my powers. I thought so. You're going to let him die. Not at all. There's a native doctor in the village who knows more about this than I do. We'll send for him at once. I see. Find Mumba and send for Dr. Kui. You better put him to bed. Mr. Summers, this is Dr. Kui. Charm, Mr. Summers, I'm sure. How do you do, Doctor? Dr. Kui was educated in your country. America. Precisely. This is the patient, I presume. Yes, make it snappy, will you, doctor? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Nothing? Are you sure? Positive. This man has been dead since morning. I'm profoundly sorry about the death of your friend, Mr. Summers. What has to be, has to be, I suppose. Did you have to bury him so soon? It was out of my hands. The local law insists. The climate and something even worse makes it necessary. You mean this voodoo zombie business, huh? This voodoo magic is far more real than you think, Mr. Summers. You heard what Dr. Cree had to say. No, but that's impossible, dead since morning. Things like that have happened before on this island. There are even whisperings going on among the natives that he was bewitched. Bewitched? But, but why? What for? Maybe for prying into things that did not concern him. Moment bitter, Doctor. Come as a thought. Excuse me. What is it? The radio. Word has just come through. They must have the Admiral's information at once. We've got to make him talk. We might perform the ceremony. The rites of transmigration. Get everything ready. Inform Tahama. And get Madame Sangri to the dungeon. Madame Sangri? You heard me. Hurry. The ceremony is better open. I'll be right along. I'll have to go. You've got to feed the zombies. Me? I can't stand zombies and you knows it. Do as you're told. And you'd better set another plate. For we're going to have company for dinner. Company? You mean there's a new one? That's right. The Irishman from upstairs. <laughs> well, I do declare. Imagine us having a white zombie for dinner. What you doing in that lineup? Don't bother me, woman. Can't you see ours or has been? 
A zombie? Nothing else but. And don't ask me my name, because I don't know. I don't know nothing. You ain't no zombie. Zombies can't talk. Can I help it because I'm loquacious? How'd you get this way? I ain't telling nothing. All I know is that I joined the club. And as a member, I has privileges. What privileges? Privileges to get fed. That ain't no new development with you. Woman, where's my food? There it is. Help yourself. Comedy, come and get it. Where's the white one? What white one? The one who flew the plane you come in. He's also one of the new recruits. The only one I know about is the boys in my squad. <clears throat> is this the best food you got? The best? For zombies, that am the six-bit deluxe special. Just being a zombie sure is a drawback. <clears throat> Why the salt? You eat that the way it is and likes it. Zombies ain't supposed to use salt. I thought you said... I changed my mind. That's more like it. Take it easy there, woman. I ain't no heaven. Now eat. Boo! What is you trying to do, poison me? How's you feeling? How should I feel? You ain't feeling dead, is you? Because if you is, then you's a zombie. And if I ain't? Then you ain't no zombie. The rule says, if a zombie uses salt, he dries up and gets dead again. How do I look? How do I look? Take a look for yourself. <laughs> well, according to this, I ain't dead. That's all I want to know. Then you ain't no zombie. How you know? Because when a zombie looks in the mirror, he don't see nothing. <laughs> That's me, all right. Well, I ain't no zombie after all. If I ain't no zombie, and there is, what am I doing here? What am I... Hey, where you going? Jeff, where have you been? What are you doing coming out of there? One at a time, Mr. Bill. I've just been reincarnated. You what? I just got de-zombified. That's the facts, Mr. Bill. But that's all I remember. Jeff, you've got to remember. These zombies. Did you see any of them? I just got through eating dinner with them. Were any of them white? Why do you ask me that? Sir Matthew asked me the same thing down in the kitchen. No, I was just thinking of Mac. They were in such a hurry to bury him. Bury him? Is Mr. Mac dead? My goodness. Maybe he's the one that... Uh... The one? Go on. What one? I was digging in a graveyard. <laughs> Can you imagine me digging in a graveyard? What about the graveyard? No, that couldn't have been me. Oh, but Jeff, you've got... What was that? It sounded like a woman's scream. What woman? I don't know, but it sounded like Barbara. I'll get the flashlight. Off again. Down here. I'm coming to my heart in. Sangre. That's what you got for trying to warn us. Whoever did it can't be far away. You mean can't be too far away. Jeff, look. Eyes, if you look, I ain't responsible for nothing you see. 
Mr. Bill, ain't that a coffin? It's Max. You don't think he done joined up with the zombies, do you? I don't know. But if that Sangre thinks he can use Max's body to... What's the matter? Listen. What does that sound like to you? I don't know, but it ain't Gene Krupa. It's the same drums we heard the other night. Voodoo drums. We gotta find them. Oh, Mr. Billy, we found enough in one day. After this, there's no telling what he's up to. Mac might be... Oh, come on. I'm coming. You were down here. Don't you remember how you got in? I can't remember. Think hard, Jeff. We've got to get in there. Now, let me think. you fool. She was just going to talk. Unbelievers. Outsiders come in. Get them. Mac, go back. It's Bill. Bill Summers, your pal. Go back. Mac, go back. Did you contact the Coast Guard all right, Admiral? They'll be aboard here for us in the morning. 
Well, how's your friend? Well, those bullets didn't help him any. You'll need a little patching up when that Coast Guard cutter gets here. But he says he's raring to go again. Say, by the way, how did that insane doctor manage to get you on this island? Well, he brought our plane down with a false radio beam. Killed the crew and tortured me to get information about our canal zone fortifications for his government. Hmm. He didn't succeed at first. And then he decided to try this uh, uh, voodoo business. Oh, you mean those, those rights of transmigration he talked about? Yes, that's right. You see, he tried to transfer the Admiral's information to my brain. He was completely mad on the subject of hypnotism. Half the island was under his spell. First, he tried to use Madame Sangri as a subject. When she broke under the strain, he used Barbara. I hate to think what might have happened if you hadn't turned those zombies against him. You and me both. If there's one thing that I wouldn't want to be twice, zombies is both of them. enjoyed tonight's film, King of the Zombies. Please feel free to email us your comments about it. Also be sure to check out our blog, Facebook fan page, Twitter feed, and of course, weirdorama.com. So for all of us at Weirdorama, this is Victor Von Psychotron telling all of you to stay weird. Head, my boy. It's a good thing I had a strong hold on my sword when we got dragged into that river. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd have been goodbye sword. Oh, yeah, you bet, King. But right now, though, it's goodbye, boys and girls. Yeah, oh, why, of course, my pet. Of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, just exactly where are they? No, oh, they're right out there, King. Oh, yes. Well, goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye. <laughs>